The Golden Spike was something that I'd always heard about in Utah. The two railroads came together at Promontory. 2019 is the 150th anniversary of the Golden Spike, and so we thought it would be really cool to make this trip from Salt Lake to Promontory to see the reenactment and to find out more about the Golden Spike and the Transcontinental Railroad. So we thought it'd be neat to leave our house in Salt Lake City along with a bike and take this trip using a train. Get on Front Runner, take Front Runner up as far as we could go, then get on a bus and ride our bikes out to Promontory. It's just really neat understanding, you know, the whole aspect of trains and our history. You know, we've been building a lot of train lines lately, and so we're almost rediscovering the rail here in Utah. When you come into Ogden on the train, you realize that that's really how you're meant to come into Ogden. You know, coming to that huge rail yard across the Weber River, the Ogden Union Station and 25th Street, and you see the, the wall of Mount Ogden behind it, and you're like, oh, this is how you're supposed to arrive in Ogden. So then when we went into the train museum, it gave us a different perspective on that whole history there. With the bikes, it allowed us to explore Bear River Valley in a lot more detail and just slow things down a little bit. Allowed us to poke into places that we might not otherwise have, have stopped at. When you're traveling with an, an eight-year-old, you know, you want to make sure that your days aren't too long. Crystal Hot Springs is a really cool place. It's been visited as a hot springs by people in Utah really ever since the time of the Golden Spike. We found ourselves on the shore of the Great Salt Lake on the playa. It was right along the railroad grade from, you know, the Southern Pacific. And so we could see a lot of those ruins. It was a really cool experience to camp out on the playa like that. When we finally got to Promontory, there's that last steep hill that we went up. And so we really understood what the railroads were up against, making that last push up the hill to Promontory Summit. So you see these black and white photos and it just doesn't do justice to how colorful the train engines are. You had all these people from San Francisco and other big cities literally in the middle of nowhere with these colorful railroad engines. It just really brought it to life. The driving of the last spike is at hand. At this point, we wish to commend both railroad companies and their workers. So it's always fun to have people that come out here and they may not know why they're out here. They see the reenactment, they see the locomotives, they get an idea of the history, and then to actually realize why this is such an important part in our nation's history. This was something that captivated everybody, that the whole country was watching Utah, uh, waiting for this moment when the last bike would be driven in.